hello 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 good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time zone welcome to my channel my name is Obanje Joseph so today our lecture is titled the concept of diplomacy concept of diplomacy now the existence of mankind at a reasonable level of civilization is practically impossible without peace trade and social relations between nation states and these things depend upon diplomacy upon the representation of states and the adjustments of their contacts this is because according to adam smith in his study of international co comparative advantage you know different nations of the world are endowed differently with different potentials and these you know these endowed potentials can only be gained and be made possible through the art of diplomacy. In this way, diplomacy can be defined as the art of representing states and of con conducting negotiation for a better cooperation for peaceful coexistence among nation states. Okay, so there are so many definitions of you know the concept of diplomacy there is no general definition of diplomacy which can be all embracing or consensual consequently there are as many definitions of diplomacy as there are writers on the concept however in this lecture we are concerned with the basic definitions of diplomacy by relevant authorities of diplomacy now this is in order to have a good fundamental understanding and knowledge of diplomacy and diplomatic relations among nations. Now, Random House Dictionary defines diplomacy as a conduct by government officials of negotiations and other relations between nations. It is the art or science of conducting such negotiations, the skills in managing negotiation and handling of people so that there is little or no ill feeling the oxford english dictionary defines diplomacy as the management of, of international relations by negotiation it is also the method by which these relations are adjusted and managed by ambassadors and envoys it is also the business or art of diplomacy okay so those are just you know the major things now now as already stated because of many definitions of the concept of diplomacy there is no one definition considered to be comprehensive or universal in nature as such according to sir ns sato sir ns sato you know asserts that diplomacy is the application of intelligence and tact to, you know to the conduct of official relations between the governments of independent states extending sometimes also to their relations with vassal states or briefly still the conduct of business between states you know by peaceful means okay so that is actually you know diplomacy according to sato now let us look at adams one stone Adam Wanston, on the other hand, believes that the diplomatic dialogue is the instrument of international society. It is a civilized process based on awareness and respect for other people's point of view and a civilizing one also because the continuous exchange of ideas and the attempt to find mutually acceptable solutions to conflict of interest increases, you know, that awareness and respect so some leading diplomats and scholars of international relations have used the word diplomacy to mean the practice of international legal principles and norms in international relations now let us look at the words of johnson now according to jj e jj johnson okay although diplomacy might be described as a complex and delicate instrument that measures forces working at epicenters of international relations 
the subtle measures of diplomacy can be used to arrest, ameliorate or reduce discard understanding and of course disagreement with you know which precipitate international crisis now from the different definitions of diplomacy by these authorities it is therefore okay it is therefore believed that diplomacy is concerned with the management of relations between independent states and between these states and other actors now diplomacy is often thought of as being concerned with peaceful activity although it may occur within war or armed conflict or be used in the orchestration of particular acts of violence okay now the okay now the blurring of line okay the blurring of line in fact between diplomacy or diplomatic activity and violence is one of the developments of note you know distinguishing modern you know diplomacy the point can be made more generally in terms of widening the context you know the content of diplomacy now certainly what constitutes diplomacy today goes beyond the definitions which sometimes rather narrow political strategic concept you know conception giving to the term nor is it appropriate to view diplomacy in a restrictive or formal sense as being the you know the preserve of foreign ministers and diplomatic service personnel now thus diplomacy should you know should be seen rather to be undertaking by officials from a wide range of diplomatic ministry or domestic ministries or agencies with their foreign counterparts reflecting its technical content between officials from international organizations such as International Monetary Fund and the United Nations, United Nations Secretariat or involved foreign cooperation and a host of government transnationally and with or through non-governmental organizations and private individuals so when we talk about diplomacy we are actually talking about you know the use of tact the use of negotiation the use of bargaining principle to actually achieve you know the goal of peace and tranquility in the world okay now one of my friends okay jokingly talked about diplomacy that it can be defined as telling somebody to go to hell and the person will pack his bag and baggages you know or will start packing his bag to go to hell okay so diplomacy is actually a civilized you know cautious and of course very peaceful way in which people actually interact with themselves now diplomacy can range from personal diplomacy you know to international diplomacy but what is important is that states at the international relations or the international international system level actually have diplomatic relations with themselves okay diplomacy is actually a course or a discipline in international relations that talks about you know the interaction existing between two or more states within the international system which has to be civilized or civil and of course you know must tilt the the line of peace okay so that is actually you know the concept of diplomacy thank you very much